but caused them so much distress, so much unhappiness. When people look in the mirror, often they're ashamed of what they see. They're only aware of the imperfection. Um, there's a process of self-criticism, lack of self-acceptance, um, that if we added all the hours up since childhood, maybe tens of thousands of hours of making oneself miserable. Why? It's so habitual. That's who I am. That's how I feel about myself. In ordinary psychotherapy, it's a very gradual, sometimes glacial process of moving into that and letting go of it. Because we need to keep in mind that our habitual defenses help us feel safe. They help organize our experience. So when we let go of them, we feel more vulnerable, more insecure. A metaphor is our armor. It's our armor. It keeps us safe relative to other people. It prevents us from being hurt. You want me to take my armor off? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, I mean, most people, when, even when they're in therapy, they hold on to that, and they might take one little piece off very gradually as trust emerges and gradually grow into a new way of thinking with better ways of relating to others. Um, the potential impact and value of a psilocybin session is that that armor dissolves. It completely falls away. And here we are together now. And it's okay. We're equally human. And all of all of that insecurity, all of those things you're ashamed of, that's true for lots of other people too. So the movement is from other people being so separate, either less than or more than the self, other people are other people. And there's a sense of moving toward and shared humanity, compassion, oneness, which we might say on one level is always true. Um, it's just that in our own minds, we create a sense of difference, of separation, a sense of superiority, inferiority, that is part of the thought stream most of the time in our lives. As we go about going to work, coming home, um, standing in line. So if we can notice that those are just thoughts, that's part of the habitual mental pattern, um, and not be identified with that or attached to that, then it frees us to feel much more at home, wherever we are, just being with people. There's nothing to prove anymore. 